Looking to chill out, get fired up. Uh, the way I got what you General supplies here. I feel kind of bad for these traitors. Having to wear the collars like that. The traitors here are no better than slaves. Poor bastards. Must be stressful. Running this den of backstabbers, throat cutters, and double dealers. Let my cams put that troubled mind at ease, eh? What have you got? The medicine you need to set yourself free. I've got cams of all kinds for you, boss. Just tell me what you need. Gonna pass. Hey, no problem. The raiders keep talking about bloodworms. I hope I never find out what those are. Glad to see you're back in the right crew. Knew you had some sense. This place really makes me want a nuka cola. I'd bring my kids here someday. Not for all these raiders. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. Guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. If there's a chance that Coulter's plans could get this place back on track, I'm interested. Whatever you say, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas. And he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed. Slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Why'd he stop caring? Did something happen? Some of the gangs were guessing he got too comfortable, but I don't really know. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traitors who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling, if they're alive at all. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but... I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine... At night, you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. How long have you been here? In about 20 years now, I guess. For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. Found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Interested? What have you got? It changes every day, to be honest. But I try to keep a good mix of weapons, supplies, and trinkets. It's a decent bet I've got something you want. I'll take a look, sure. Of all kinds, yours for us. These collars get damn hot after a while. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll stay in line. Well, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? What's your problem? Well, let's just say the situation in Nuka World has never been what I call equitable. We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Hey, it's not my fault things are like this. I just got here. Never said it was. Just figured you should know what you're getting into. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Let's see what you have. All right. Just here to pick up some supplies. Got a little of everything here. There can be no more doubt. I got your pickup right here. You can now rest assured that our You see that crazy robot dressed like a bottle? Showing the operators a good life, ain't you, boss? Came a long way to see this place. Please, just don't hurt me. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. Haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well... I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. <sighs> Let's get one thing straight here. It may have been his suggestion. But it'll be my decision. I can see that. Well, regardless of the source, idea's a good one. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And, despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today 
might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to, and the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there, so I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? If I'm gonna do this, I don't want to hurt people. <laughs> no fun in that. But look, you're the overboss. You decide you want to sweet-talk the poor sods we're gonna be dealing with instead of filling them full of lead? That's up to you. But I can't change the fact that you're gonna have to run some people out of their homes so we can give them to the gangs. No one said being boss was going to be easy. Now, you just say if this is something you're ready to move on. Let's discuss this later. Up to you, boss. I'm not going anywhere. Respect around here, you gotta earn it.
Hey. You're the new overboss, right? You sure made an example out of Coulter. Are you kidding? That was a piece of cake. Well, you have to admit, you had a bit of help. Each was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I think Coulter got exactly what he deserved. So, you weren't loyal to Coulter? Hell no. Coulter was a goddamn idiot. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the Nuka Cave. What exactly is this place? <sighs> it's my pride and joy. The one good thing that came out of getting stuck working for Coulter. Yeah, all of the amusements and games around you are working thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. How do I get started? Eager to play, eh? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Every game in the Nuka Kate still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. How do I get tokens? Well, I usually just tell my customers that I sell them. But seeing as you're the new overboss, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you a few other ways of getting them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave. But they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what, just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. I don't know. You can do better. How about two? Yeah, sure. I suppose it couldn't hurt. May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. Oh, don't forget to take this with you, boss. That way you can't say I never did you any favors. of antiques, boss. Hell yeah.
Hey. What's up, boss? More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. Thank you. 
Anything in here? Boss, someone's coming through the gauntlet. Go see Fritch, he'll tell you what to do. Plenty of prizes still left in the redemption system. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. What happens if I choose to fight? All you need to do is gear up and head for the arena. Bring whatever weapons and armor you want. Then we open up the door to the gauntlet and let in whatever dumbass scaver mark fill into the trap. After that, playtime. So what's the call, boss? You gonna give us a show or what? <laughs> Don't 
Time to put on a show. Hell yeah! No better way to earn a Raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. Hi, Sierra. Here's hoping they didn't hide the cappies too well. Remember, you won't see hidden cappy codes without the glasses. Make sure you're wearing them while you search. these park medallions I'd be spread through uh -huh. once you've got a I've got a full set of park medallions so you do why that's just nougatastic here's your special reward what else would you like to know tell me about the nuka cola corporation our story begins in the year 2044 when soft drink pioneer John Caleb Bradburton created the formula for a drink he named Nuka Cola. When released to the market, the delicious beverage was nothing short of a sensation, quickly becoming error. <laughs> System malfunction. You want the truth about Nuka Cola? It's toxic swill that'll rot your teeth out, but you imbeciles go that poison sludge by the bottle. System restored with the release of our latest flavor, Nuka Cola Quantum. Be sure to try a cold, refreshing bottle of Nuka Cola Quantum today. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable, dumb sniffing dirt scratcher. System restored. Have a great day! Disciples don't want to show their face. We ain't hiding anything. We're the best. Hi there. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I... Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though.
Glad to see you're back in the right crew. Knew you had some sense. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the Respect rest. Respect around here. You gotta earn it. Of course, heading over to the phones hasn't hurt. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. Seems like every time I fix one thing, another thing breaks. Harvey. Another wonderful day in Nuka Town, USA. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Make no one's a slave that don't want to be. I'm not much for conversation. So you ready to get this show on the road, boss? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth's gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave, or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land, or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. I bet you they can manage to keep looking bored through the whole thing. That just leaves the target. 
Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? What were those targets you'd recommended before? Croup Manor, Taffington Boathouse, Green Top Nursery, and the Slog. Again, I can't guarantee those will all be available targets till I check my notes. But if they are, they're certainly a good place to start. Now you ready to make your decision? I'm ready. Good. So, where you want to do this? Mm-hmm. Wait, pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Does that matter? Only if you want to keep control of it. Targeting a settlement for a job is going to break whatever connections you might have had to the place. Worth taking a moment to consider how much you like having that spot under your thumb. So, that the target? Actually, I changed my mind. Sure. You want to give me another target? Or did you maybe want to change up the job? Let's do a different target. You got it. So, where do you want to hit? Yeah, that one will do. So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're gonna want to do before trying to run them off. But ultimately, it's up to you, boss. Good luck.
going down. Transit center. Transit center. Going down. Nuka Express.